drive ahead, day three. Oh, we packed up camp and we're out of here. So, what an absolute cracker of a spot here. It's like a little amphitheater. Bit of the, what the true Kimberley's all about. This rock gorge country, I do like it. It's very unique to this sort of area. I wonder if we'll drive over any rocks today. Oh, look, there's a big rocky jump up straight off the bat. So, off to Omulgani, up this rock jump up with my coffee and try not to spill my coffee as we go up this rock jump up. Good luck with that. Oh no. Straight back into it, eh, Simon? Bit busy, mate, bit busy. Oh, no. The diff in might help. Okay. Up there. there we go. That made all the difference. Pop that little diff lock in and away we win. Lovely. Oh, parking sensors, turn them off. There we go. I still haven't spilled my coffee. <laughs> All right, lead the charge, Simon. Off to Umugadi. Is that how we pronounce it, Sam? Umdadadi. Umbulgari. Umbulgari. Literally just came out of camp. Straight onto it. Oh, straight onto an alley. Jump up on a rock. Nice little warm up section, hey? Just enough to wake you up in the morning. Stuck there, Chase. Yeah, I ain't getting up there without tearing stuff off. Righty, I'll, I'll just reverse back a little bit and drag you up, eh? Hey? Yeah, copy that. Nothing like a bit of winching for the morning. Maybe I should have had a um, coffee instead of a tea. <laughs> I can't see anything, I'm shooting for the stars. We gotta try and get it up that way. Yeah. Alright, here we go. All good? Easier than it looked. Looked pretty bad there for a second. How's yeah, the you, side you step? Belly, all right? You were belly down, yeah. On the side step? It just touched, so you were good. Oh, okay. Yeah. I heard a lot of crunching. Yeah. Thank God for winches. I think we'd be stuffed without winches. Just gives you that little bit of a pop. No mucking around this morning? Nah. Barely left camp, mate. We've got the winch out already. Straight up. Now the rest of the day is going to be easy. You reckon? No. <laughs> oh mate, that was a first hurdle of the morning. Yeah, a bit of a cruncher. Uh, yeah. I think it sounded a lot worse than what it was. Yeah. It didn't sound real good. 
Oh, this track would be so easy, it's so much easier if I didn't have this big, huge trailer. <laughs> like a breeze. Yeah. Boys must be loving it. The trailers behind their truck. It's getting up everywhere. Should have known. We came down into the gully last night. <laughs> now this morning we're going to get up the other side of the gully. Now literally one jump up, two jump ups, and I think there's another one, three. Should have known. This morning we've travelled like maybe 100 metres. <laughs> What do we got round the corner here? Let's have a look. The rock shelf. Let's get a little drive up there. Oi -ya. <laughs> Jason's gonna be doing a bit of scratching coming up here, I think. Keep one nice steady momentum. That looks a little bit interesting up there, Simon. Pop up the little edges. <sighs> yeah, mate, yes, yeah, so it's like it's lovely. Yeah, very um give your breakfast a little bit of a churn up in your belly. Uh, how do you reckon Jace would go at time the trailer? He's gonna get plenty of traction, but if he like hesitates or stops, then he'll lose it and then he'll be winching. Get it nasty. Line selection is everything. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Little step up? Yeah, just little steps. Enough room for Jace just about to get up. Yeah, I think so. First of this dance pop. And the bear we go. A little bouncy, plenty of traction. Nice work, Jace. Smoked it. That looked like it didn't even test you then. Uh, there's all sorts of testing going on. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky jump up number two. No worries. <laughs> no worries. Is that the top there, mate? Yep, back out of the ravine. Probably there, that little lefty. That's a bit easier going this way than if we were going the other way. Step up one. You know, there's a lot of step ups and little cliffs on those tracks, but you still got traction, hey? Yeah. You just gotta select your line, I guess. Yeah. Work that line, Jesse, work that line. <laughs> the back of this car feels a lot better with a bit more air in the airbags. You notice the difference? Yeah, I reckon. Cool. So that tree there, it produces a little fruit, bush tucker. There's a little seed like a soli plum. We call it gillet. Uh, we just eat the skin and not the seed, but only blooms around the wet season. Yeah, uh, suck of the acacia. That's the acacia. Yeah. Bubble gum and the uh, lychee grubs like. Steady and going, eh? After this one, yeah, on the top of the hill until we got down to the forest. Forest is the last big crossing, yep. A tough one, the old forest. Yeah. It's a 
a tough one? Yeah. Is it just, just because it's tight? Tight. You got, you got, you got to go down a hill where it's very tight. Because if you go too far right, yeah. you die. <laughs> oh. There's a cliff on your right hand side. Cliff? Yeah. Just cliff drop. Trees. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't go too far, right? It's pretty nasty to fall down the hill. Gotcha. Mate, I thought we were out of that ravine and up the top, but no, we're not. What's going on up there? Oh, this gnarly, rocky thing just keeps going up and up and up and gnarly and up. Copy that. Oh, are you? No, oh, you're going to be doing some scratching and some rocking and rolling up here. Yeah, I'm in the thick of it back here. Traveling, Jace. Is he making forward momentum? There you come. Yep, looks like it. That's all. Busy. Getting up hills. <laughs> sure ain't glad I'm not telling that trailer. I'm the ones beginning to regret my decision. <laughs> <laughs> Did your diff miss that one? <laughs> Maybe a tiny little scrape. This D Max, mate, he's got awesome ground clearance. <laughs> Can you, you want to jump out yep. and have a look? Because I didn't want, if it hits there, I don't want to drag it right through the horse. Nice. Jay stuck. Mm, it's not moving forward, so not sure. That little jump up's just a bit of a diff scraper. He's got the barracking guiding him through. I know it doesn't look uh, that gnarly on the outside, but yeah. I'll tell you what, it feels good to get up <laughs> without scraping the underbody. Yeah, did a really good, bro. Really good. Yeah, she popped that. It doesn't look much. When you've got the camera there, it doesn't look as much. Nah. Yeah, she's done a tire, first tire. Or a meter or so. I've been waiting for it to happen. somewhere where you can actually get out if we have to change it. We've been flogging them. Get up here, there's a spot just there. Am I gonna get up there? Is it proper flat, Jace? No, keep going, mate, keep going, you'll get up there. There's a nice flat rock just behind me there, Jess. Oh, I didn't feel that. Oh no! Let's go and change the tire. Take my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Which side is it on, Jace? On the flat side. Yeah. Hang on. Oh! <laughs> He's still trying to work out where it is. The rock <laughs> Back, eh? You can only come back about a metre. Tell me when. Yeah, whoa. Whoa. Got tired. That's it. All right. Another one? Yeah, I'll need to All right. I did not feel it. It's actually a pretty good hole. Well, it's not a good hole, it's a good hole. Does that make, make sense? That makes me feel a lot better, eh? <laughs> Don't do things 40, in half. 40, 40, 40, 40. Good job. See how it holds up, eh? You reckon it'll hold? Yeah. Just drive around the rocks, mate. <laughs> Miss the rocks. <laughs> They're good tires, mate. Oh, I'm surprised they haven't done more. I haven't done more times. I'm surprised too. I just didn't want to be the first one to get it. It's always you, Jesse. It's always I, you. I know. 
Yeah, you're doing a good job. A problem child. Hey, g'day guys, sorry to interrupt your video, but I just wanted to show you the new 270 standard from Camp Boss 4x4. Check this thing out, mate. It's an awesome bit of kit. If you want to get out from under the sun, okay, out in the Australian outback, then you need one of these things. It's got full A-frame arms, easy to set up. It's got 280 GSM ripstop poly cotton. The bag itself is a heavy duty, 1000 GSM with a heavy duty zip. And it's got this awesome little ratchet to tension it up, mate. It's the best awning that you're gonna see on the market. Full A-frame arms, self-supporting. Anyway, guys, back to the video. All right, so we're about day three on this track now. And if you have a look behind me, there's a big cloud bank. It's been very overcast and it's good. There's a big rain depression, a big, a big rain event, as they call it, coming from the, uh, the Western Kimberley, across the Fitzroy. Now, this is so unusual this time of the year. But at Kununurra, which is in that direction there, Kununurra got gobbled up last night. Tons of rain, okay? Truckload of rain at Kununurra. Never rains this time of the year. It's not supposed to be raining this time of the year. It is the dry season. So it's highly unusual. We do not want rain on this track while we're traveling this track. We're only three days in, but literally, I think we're 100 k's of a 400 k trek. How's it looking, Simon? Yeah, a bit like, you know, a fair bit of the other track, gnarly, you know, gnarly. <laughs> it's all pretty much the same so far, eh? Just gnarly. Are you there, Sam? Yeah, Rob. Do you guys ever uh, drive the other way much? Yeah, a few times. Coming up here, it'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, you try not to get any wheel spin, otherwise you're going off the edge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be like driving on big marbles. Oi, oh, that little love bump. Love bump on the diff there, I felt that. Oh, scraping, scraping everything. Luckily, this car is covered in bash plates. Don't knock any boulders over, Jesse, into my path. I am really trying, Jace. But I've just caught it a little bit. Oh, oh. Yeah, he just rolled her in. I'll push him out, eh? Yeah. Get him out, eh? This is hectic. There she goes. Over the rock. Poor old trailer's just going to cop the warper. It's actually quite mentally draining when you're just constantly working line choice and wheel placement. Oh, that's, that's a crunch. No, that's what you call a crunch. It actually takes a lot of uh, a lot of willpower not to swear on TV. There's every word that comes to my brain coming down here starts with F. <laughs> yeah, that's still dropped off there. Isn't it? Going up there, Dave. Yeah, we're doing good. He's a bit busy, he said. A lot of rocking and rolling going on. I can see water ahead, boys. All right, this is a mighty forest. Forest. Heading that way there, bro. Through here? Yep. Zip, zip, zip. Through the water. And the track drops in over here. Ah, uh, yeah, now I see it. So you come through and then you turn. Turn there yeah. and go between those rocks? Yeah, so they go across to that rock bar and then you turn left. And yeah. How's the water, Jesse? Bit nippy, mate. Cold? Nah, it's not too bad. It'd be nice if the sun was out. Yeah. It wasn't that little breeze. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, let's go across this creek. Oi, is it a creek or a river? River. River. Let's go across <laughs> this river. The Forest River. Forest River. See you on the other side. Hey, it could be crocodiles in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was deep. Oh my lord. Hey, don't drive into that hole. There's a hole there. Big hole there. So now where's the exit? I'm not seeing the exit now. I'm assuming it's over here. Okay, you wait there and we'll come in behind you. Well, gee, I think I'm going the right way. No, no, you're spot on, mate, spot on. You can see the two ruts now. Perfect. Oh, well, Simon, are you going to be my eyes? Whatever you do, go forward. You've always got the best advice, mate. Well, don't go in there. <laughs> Get out of my head, mate. <laughs> Good job. Right, mate, bring the big girl through. 
trailer's in. She's in. We're in. All right, we're in the river now. She's a little stepping. Slow now. Oh, yeah. Ready? Trailer's in. <laughs> we're in. Now we're swimming. <laughs> we're in. We're in. Going this way. <laughs> what was that? So Birchie's swag just fell off in the water, is that bad? <laughs> no, that's all good. <laughs> okay, let's commence the climbing up out of this gully, ravine, river, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, and a bit of sand on the exit. You have to give her the berries up that uh, exit, eh, Simon? Yeah, yeah, I'm up, I'm good. But she's loving this country. Smoke. Do you think things are going good? The little rock just catches you. Just like that. He's just smashing it. That Chevy's just dragging that trailer through obstacles that you wouldn't even dream of considering doing. That's it. Yeah, mate. <laughs> we're going yeah, the big rig. The big rig. The big rig. Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by the new product from Camp Boss 4x4. Now it's called the Nudie Boss Shower Tent and it's designed to be convenient and easy to pack up and set up and have a private area where you can get dressed, changed, have a shower, go to the toilet, whatever you want to do. It's awesome, it's easy. Check this out. How cool is that? Simple as that, guys. <laughs> so inside, if you have a quick look, you'll notice there is, there's a couple of uh, pouches here to store some stuff, your shower gel or whatever. Up here, have a look at this. So that's where the shower head will come through. Comes with a light. Have a look here. So the switching of the light, we've got white and orange. And this is pretty cool as well. I can put the roof in. A couple of Velcro clips and I've got a private place where I can either go to toilet, I can do have a shower, all those sorts of things. There she is, guys, the nudie boss. Now, if you get a chance, go on to Camp Boss 4x4 shop online or check out your local Camp Boss 4x4 dealer. Anyway, back to the adventure. Get a load of that the river down there, boys. That is the mighty forest river. We're over there. Well, we're right up on that escarpment, just cruising along the top of it. Looks wild, huh? The Forest River is the river that, that services Umbulgari. And um, Umbulgari is the community, which is no longer, it's uh, no longer running anymore. It's, um, it's basically a ghost town now. I can see buildings. Welcome to Umbulgari. Hey, check out the Boab trees, they're pretty cool, eh? Yeah, they call this the Boab Avenue. What do we got here, mate? What's this building? Uh, I got the old shop, bro. Yeah? The yeah. old corner store. Yeah. How hey, long we, ago we... did they stop living here? Like, when boom, that's it. 2011. Yeah, okay. So they just shut it down 2011, see ya. Yeah, mate, they just came in. Whatever you had on your back, whatever you're wearing, that's all you could take. Yeah. Just a bag of clothes, straight on the bike, straight to window. And they was homeless for years until oh, yeah. they got housing here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they wasn't allowed to come back to get any of their stuff. Yeah. Everything just got picked up with an excavator and a dozer, taken out of, out of here, and buried in a big hole. Buried. Yep. Buried. Was uh, it? Was there a lot of people out here? Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. Down and dusted. Yeah, mate. Let's see if we get an ice cream in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Oh, <laughs> snake there. Oh, what was that? Oh, pencil? Yeah. That's not a snake. That's <laughs> not a snake. That's not a snake. <laughs> you have good eyes, mate. I didn't yeah. see it. Yeah, cool. Little Burton's legless lizard. That's a running joke. That one. There he goes. Woo! Wow. 
Look at your that. pizza pocket. Who remembers a pizza pocket? <laughs> a what? The pizza pocket. Pizza what? Pocket. The, remember those oh, pizza, the pizza pocket? Oh, pizza pocket. Here is the checkout. Yeah. As soon as we're serving, mate, that'll be 50 bucks, please. What? That'll be $50. 50? All right, don't, don't make me come over the other side of the counter. That'll be $50. <laughs> 50. 50. There you go. 50 bucks. <laughs> it is. It's a bit eerie, isn't it? Yeah. Every time you come back here, you, you know, it's, you get, feel like you've been watched. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you, you would have walked. You would have, like, I would have been here shop. by drinks, yeah, shops. You would have been buying ice cream and, and everything. Yeah, the pizza you're a kid. The pizza slices. Do you remember that? Yeah. Wow. And they just, just gone. Nothing, yeah. Just, like, literally just walked yeah. away. Even when we do drive in here after, you know, after a year and whatnot, it yeah. just feels funny because we're used to seeing it as a blooming community before people yeah. moving around, cars driving around. Yeah, gotcha. Stuff like that, but yeah. Now it's a ghost town. Now it's a ghost town. Wow. Mm. Yeah, the good old shop. <laughs> old church? Church. Yeah, old church in there. So that church was in the mission days as well. Planes now. That drop of rain has made it sticky. Yeah. As long as it doesn't get boggy, a sticky I can handle. All right, this is uh, the fishing spot, boys. We're going to camp here the night, catch some fish. Sounds good. Yeah, it's only a little narrow creek from what I can see. Full with barra. Full with barra, apparently. Spotted that here, bro. You must get sick of us asking where exactly the spot is. <laughs> yeah. I just chucked the lure in the water. <laughs> oh, come on here. Get on here, eh? Yeah. Sneaky little barra spot. How does it look, mate? Does it look like it's full of barra? Yes, she's full of barra. <laughs> Don't go near the edge and scare them. <laughs> Watch out for the crocodiles. Ready, boys? Who's on first? Yep. Yes! yes. Oh, it's decent. Birchie was on it. You're a bastard. Yeah. You. Go, Birchie. Oh, it, it actually looks pretty good. I think that might be size if oh, I can yeah. land it. We might be eating barrel tonight, boys. We are. Yeah. I'm coming down here now. No, you stay up there, mate. Oh. Stay up there. We got this one sorted. Oh, I'm coming down. <laughs> oh, he looks good, Jace. Yeah, baby. Gotta be First happy barra. that. First yeah. barra. <laughs> Look at that. How good's that? Beautiful. Cool little barra. <laughs> that's a good size, eh? Yeah, that's dinner. Perfect size. That is dinner right there. I got him. You got one? He's on. Oh, I'll, I'll Drop him. He's on, he's off, he's on. <laughs> little one. Got a little tacker. Little pup. They are here. They are here. Oh, Simon's it's a got big one. one. Yep. Oh, did you see that? Oh, there's lazy. <laughs> that was my fish. Was there one on follow? <laughs> follow? It was a <laughs> solid one. We had a go at it and then he was like, meh. Yeah. Okay. Is that where it's it was? Just a little. Oh. There you go. Hey, come on, big one. You, you got, got one? one? Betchy's on again. It's all going on here to serve. He's on. Oh, he looks all right. Yeah. Nice, mate. Good bear. Geez, you don't muck around bringing them in. They definitely are here. You were right, mate. They are here. Yeah. Hey, little fella, that one, eh? Yeah. Lovely. Right, I'd be happy with that right Good now. Barra. You. Hopefully get some more. Leave him there. Have another cast. Got him again. On a roll now. Well. Well. Ah, the little fella. Come on in now. Yeah. <laughs> he was. He just got off. He was only a pup. Pressure, pressure. I'm gonna start blaming my lure soon. Flicking. Oh, got him. You got him? Yeah. 
little top on. Chuck it back. How landlocked is this? No, it's the big toes bushes up in here. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yep, nice. No, it gets restocked regularly. Yeah. Yeah, so salt comes in and out. And the big toe. Have you fished it with a Just tide rise? Yeah. It goes off. Does it? Yeah, when it's like hot during the day. Oh, way. yeah. Tide pushing in, eh? Yeah. All right, Jesse, see if we can get you a fish, mate. Now, the fish are real dopey and sleepy, right? So you got to slow everything down. But seriously, stop. Scratch your head. Scratch your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Stop again. And do a little rod lift. I just lift up, yeah? Slow. Stop again, lift up. And slow it right down. Rogi, rogi. Because what he is, he's, he actually is sitting there the whole time just going on these ones and going, oh. You give a little twitch and he's like, oh. And then he's like, oh, I don't know. And then they follow it right in and right at the bank. So if you watch your lure, it's a sinking lure, just flick it out there and watch it sink. Just drop it in there. You watch it take line down. See it? Mm. See this tanking line? Yeah. So it's dropping down to the bottom. Like this, it vertically just falls down. And then you pull it back up, it does this. And yeah. then it drops back down again. And then it comes back up. So you can actually get depth. Alrighty, yeah. The more you guys were catching fish, the quicker I was wheeling it in trying to get a fish. That's it. Everyone does it. You gotta slow down. That's all I'm giving you. Alrighty, yeah. Thanks for the tips. Need nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Can't give it all away. Got him. It's a big bar. Oh, good one. On the rig. Yay! Good job. That's a good size barra. Good work. Same size. Yeah, we've got enough for, for, for fish bites now. Let's go and do fish bites. This is it. It's coming. Three, two, one. One. Boom. Nah, damn it. It would have been pretty cool if it worked. Yes. Got him. Right oh. at the bank. Right at the bank. We right the bank. just gave him a bit of line because he was just too short. I was on. Let a bit of line back out. That was just nasty. That was, was a good feel? little fish, that one. Yeah, man. He's a good one. There he is, big guy. Oh, look, I caught a barra. You got him. <laughs> That's, That's my a good first one. barra for the year. Come on, Jesse. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, pressure. <laughs> I always, I always want to make it a competition, but I always lose. <laughs> <laughs> first barra of the year. Trip. Happy with that? We'll munch on that later. What do you reckon? Solid. Oh, he's nice decent. Fair looked. I'm ready right, here. Guys. You. You wouldn't believe that this is the only spot we're fishing because it's just a little deep hole. Bertie reckons shallow there, shallow there, waste of time. He said this is the spot, and sure enough, fish are coming out of it. He's only just hooked. That's a good one, mate. That's solid. Nice job. How many is that you caught now? A few. Yeah, he. Oh, a couple. Jess, how I you got? I lost count. <laughs> Big zero. I lost <laughs> count, mate. How about you, Bertie? You got a few too? Yeah, I got a yeah, few, mate. Yeah. Isn't that that water hole we said that even Jess could catch one? Yeah. <laughs> Jace picked my lure though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuses. Look at that. Look at that. Go, you good thing. Beautiful looking fish, though. Love the barramundi. I don't know, they just make you excited, don't you? Look at that, look at that, mate. Back at you. Good luck, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jesse, you coming mate? <laughs> he's, he's still trying. He's yeah. still trying. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Hopefully he's one. We've got to get him a barrel this trip. Yeah, have to. Get his own barrel. <laughs> oh, got one. <laughs> oh, Jesse's still fishing and he's caught one. Well done, mate. That counts. Yeah. Oh, it's not, you nothing actually, to brag about, Simon. You actually, actually caught one. <laughs> hey, it's a fish, mate. It's he, a barrel. He was right at the edge here. It's a bar, it counts. <laughs> I had to get one, eh? Even though we'd finished filming. <laughs> I thought we'd finished fishing. That's all right, I just had to get it for my own pride. Anyway, only a little fella. It's a barra, mate. Yeah, it's a barra. Not a case guard. It's a barra.
Good job, buddy. You're off the board. Leave you to it. We're going to go and fill it the big ones. <laughs> now we've caught a couple of fish, it's time to cook them up. So what's the plan here, Jace? Um, are we just going to have some veggies, mate? Yeah. With our, um, I've got a bit of coating mix here. She's good. Power's on. 240. It's a bit of new technology. Induction cooktop. Mate, there's nothing fresher than fresh barra. Like, I mean, when you've just pulled the barra out of a creek five minutes ago, just about. How long ago? I think I saw that fillet still wiggle. Look at me. <laughs> Did you? Well, that's how fresh it is. Coating mix. You ever had this stuff before, mate? No, not, not yet, mate. No. Oh, ho, ho. mine's on a blow, mate. It's probably going to be a little bit weird when I go, this one's for southern fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but you'd be surprised how tasty it is. That's it. Coat them up. All right, let's get them in. All right, the bar is on. Look at that, that was quick as. Sort of, I don't know what a thousand means. I don't know these things, mate. It's all high tech stuff. Yeah. We're used to using gas, but I thought I'd give this a crack. Yeah, I'm used to using fire. <laughs> you keep telling me today something about my trailer. What, what, what is that you tell me? I've got to say, that is one of the toughest trailers I've ever seen in my life, mate. Uh, how far did you think we were going to make it? Not to the Durek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had no confidence, nah. mate. Well, you, yeah, yeah, Dad, he didn't think we'd make it to the Durak. <laughs> oh, you're going to love these crispy barramundi, mate. Oh, wait, mate. Give it a whirl, mate. Give it a whirl. I'll give it a whirl, too. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. It's lovely and tasty, mate. Yeah, it's, it's nice and crispy, eh? Yeah, yeah. Delicious. Next time, the stress levels are peaking. Old mate pops a gasket. Here, Jay's swearing back there, it can't be good. This truck is absolutely getting pulverised. Is so. The track is taking its toll on man and machine. Doom and gloom. All doom and gloom at this point. Join us for the misadventure. Attention all fruit venture fans. Jace and Simon are dropping exclusive early access to episodes from the brand new Series 15 of All For Adventure, fast-tracked in HD and ad-free. Head to unleash.tv to stream episodes of the latest series from anywhere in the world. It's just another reason why unleash.tv is the undisputed home of Australian adventure. He's not washing it. He got it. He smoked it. Oh yeah! Ha ha! Hurrah!